Junie, Junie. So it is that time of year again where I settle down, clean my bookshelf, and give you guys my annual bookshelf tour. These videos never seem to do very well, but I also don't really care because I love reading and I love sharing with you guys like the new books I've got. It's quite fun to kind of give my bookshelf that good, good deep clean and reorganize it and everything. I thought this year what we might do is we'll give it a nice clean and then I'll show you guys all of like the new books that I got in the space for this year since my last bookshelf tour. I actually need to get a new bookshelf and it's one of my goals for this year. <laughs> so in my next bookshelf tour next year there might be two bookshelves to go through but um alas at this stage we still only have the one and it's looking a little bit crammed so we'll just do our best with what we've got and try and make it look as nice as possible if you're new here welcome to my channel my name is charlotte i'm a registered nurse and like you've probably got the gist from that introduction today we're doing my annual bookshelf tour and before we get into everything don't forget to like subscribe to all that good stuff but for now let's go and have a look at the absolute monstrosity that my bookshelf is currently. Walking two steps over to the corner of my room. My bookshelf. <laughs> As you can see, it is a right mess. It has just got junk and trash all over it. Everything is like knocked over. I just have random, like look, I've just got a random hair curler, my, you know, water spray for my hair. Yeah, everything's just a little bit dusty and gross at the moment and it's just looking really gross. So it's definitely in dire need of a revamp. So yeah, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with getting rid of everything on the shelves and put them all on my bed and on the floor and stuff. Give it a nice good clean. Yeah, I'm picking my sister up in like an hour and these videos normally take me a couple of hours to film just because of how slow I am. <laughs> So um, we'll just get as much as we can done for us to go pick her up. So that is the bookshelf. Do you see what I mean by it? It's gross and dusty. Look at that. You can actually see the marks where like my Funko figures and stuff have been it. It's just, it's so gross and it's... Look at these little footprints. Oh my gosh, I don't even want to look at the top. Look at that, that's so gross. Ugh. Here's Jenny. You're ex intrigued, aren't you? These are all of my books in this little pile over here. All of these ones here are all of the new ones that I've gotten since the last tour that I did. I've got a really bad memory, so some of them I might actually have had on the last tour, but it doesn't matter. I'm just going to show you all of these ones once we've cleaned everything. But yeah, these are all of the books that I own. And after, it looks a lot better. We didn't have any like spray, so I just had to do it the old fashioned way with soapy water. Um, and I've just dried everything so it doesn't bubble or damage the wood. So yeah, that looks so much nicer. All clean, no footprints. So yeah, oh, day two of moving all of these back onto my bookshelf. Hannah is now here and Juno is here too with her little toilet roll. Do you know what pisses me off? Mm -hmm. Is that my second one mm -hmm. is a different uh, to that. Brother, uh. Heels of beetle to board. I can go at the very top. Between eye and flame. Maybe this one because it fits the colour. Do you see it? Kind of going dark. Yeah. Oh, look, illuminate. Brother's going very that's pretty cute. So this is one of my favourite books of all time. Piranesi by Susanna Clark. And then my Hunger Games trilogy. Put that over here. Ooh. Deadly Education trilogy. Ooh, that's nice. This is another one of my favourite books. Mexican Gothic. Ooh. And then my Pride and Prejudice edition. This is a poetry collection. Archie and Mejita Bell. It's so funny and I love it because it's old. I'm gonna put it on the top. This is one of the new books that I got since my last bookshelf tour. It is The Unhoneymooners by Christina Lauren. 
It is a romance and it's set in Hawaii and I love it so much. And it's got fake dating tropes. And it's on my favourite shelf because I love it. And also it's just ever so slightly shorter and I don't like that either. But you know, as we start filling up the other shelves, I'll put more books up in here because I do not have enough space. So next one's at all of my front of glass books. Okay, good idea. This is another one of the new books that I got. Mm. This was a present from my friend Sonia. I haven't read it yet, but because it's Sarah J Maas, it will go on this shelf. So that will go there. So these are two more new books that I have bought since my last bookshelf tour. So the first one is Once Upon a Broken Heart by Stephanie Garber. And then the second one, which is the sequel to that, is The Ballad of Never After. So I've read this one. I'm currently reading the... Do you see what I mean? It's like slightly not the same size and it's just very important. The next two books I want to put on the shelf are also new since the last bookshelf tour. The first one is Shadow and Bone by Lee Bardugo. I haven't got the other two in the trilogy. And then the next one is Loveless by Alice Osman, which I love and it fits beautifully. So I'm also going to put these on. These are not new, but I just want to show you because of how beautiful the spines are. I'm going to try and get the Mortal Instruments um, series also in these covers. Mm because they just think they're like, gorgeous because obviously fitting with the same universe I'm just going to put that one over here even though it's a different edition and it looks ugly I still need to read Bird Box that's the second shelf things on it so not to all the boys I loved before trilogy which I love and I want it to go from like darky to light. Bullet Train, and then Guernsey Lip Tree and Potato Peel Pie Slide. One of the new books that I've got since my last bookshelf tour. So this is The Cruel Prince by Holly Black. I haven't read it yet. This is another new one that I got. Practical Magic by Alice Hoffman. Actually, that looks quite nice like that, so mm. we'll put that there. <coughs> this is another new book that I got since the last tour. And I also got Before the Coffee Gets Cold. It's by the same author and it's in the blue spine. I've got the first and I've got the fourth one. That can definitely go over here. This is Bride by Ali Hazelwood, which is another new book that I got this year. And then this is Icebreaker by Hannah Grace, which I accidentally bought thinking it was a romance and actually it was just smart. So <laughs> let's put that here. I forgot that I had this one. This is Tower of Dawn by Sarah J Maas. So I'm just going to pop it on top on this side and then back to the shelf. This is another one of my favourite series. The Girl Up Tower Trilogy by Kirsten Gear. And then another beautiful book. This is Rebecca by Daphne du Maurier. Great Goddesses, a poetry collection by Nikita Gill. And then this is my little book of Cottage Court <laughs> by Emily King. This is also a new book that I got since my last bookshelf tour. Vegetarian by Han Kang. Me Before You by Jojo Moyes. Um, Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children trilogy by Ransom Riggs. Dictionary of Lost Words by Pip Williams. The Jane Austen Book Club by Karen Joy Fowler. This is another one which I think is new since my last bookshelf tour. I haven't read it just yet. And then The Curious Instant of the Dog in the Nighttime by Mark Haddon. Classical Education by Carolyn Taggart. Sylvia Plath Poems Chosen by Carol Ann Duffy. To the Lighthouse by Virginia Woolf, which my granddad bought me. Charlotte's Web by E.B. White. And then this ridiculous book. This is The Alchemist by Paulo Colo. I bought it because it's a classic and the cover is stunning, but the actual content is just stupid. So <laughs> I'll probably put some books up on here a bit later once we've started running out of space. But let's put some things down here. So I'm gonna put all my classics on this side. And I'm going to put them in colour order this time. New book that I got, and it's the favourite book of love poems. This is Mythos by Stephen Fry. The Hate You Give by Angie Thomas. The I Am Not Esther series by Fleur Beale. The Help, this is a new, by Catherine Stockett. This is another new book since my last tour. Ingo series here, because it's a different size. Robert Harris, The Second Sleep. The Maidens by Alex Michaelides, which was very, very good and had one of the best twists in a book I've ever read in my life. This one is Tales of the Peculiar by Ransom Riggs. My Fantastic Beasts 
screenplays. This is another new book that I got. It is How to Catch a Mole by Mark Hamer. A Discovery of Witches by Deborah Harkness. This is another new book that I got. You can go here. I need a second bookshelf. This is The Love Contract by Steph Fizzard, which is another new book I got since my last tour. I hated it. I gave it two stars. My Chronicle of Narnia series. And again, I hate that they're all different sizes. These are all of my Agatha Christie novels. Look, I still have all of these ones. <laughs> I'm just watching the film. these on the bottom shelf like so who wants to raise chickens we literally live in the countryside bus yeah mm -hmm. dad drew a book ready player one can also go down here then we need to pull <laughs> on top of the murder mysteries <laughs> These are also two new books since my last bookshelf tour. Of a Miss Bridgerton and the Girl with the Make Believe Husband by Julia Quinn. I want my Men and Gods book to go up here. These are all my little iffy books. So that's Le Petit Enfant du Siècle by Christiane Rochefort. And that's all in French. This is the oldest book I own. It is Utopia. That's gorgeous. I got this at an old book shop. So these are where all my mini, these are my like space filler books. <laughs> Jane Eyre can probably go at the top. The so this is probably the most expensive book that I've ever bought. This is Tress of the MLC by Brandon Sanderson. I bought it because it is the premium hard hardcover. This is also new since my last tour. I spent $150 on it because I spent extra money for the hardcover and then I had to pay for shipping from the US. <laughs> but inside that's the oh. front. And then let me find a little illustration. I just, yeah, I, I love it so much and I'm going to be doing a like unboxing and review video on this book because of just how beautiful it is. So this one will go on the top shelf when I finish reading it, but yeah. my 2024 bookshelf tour that kind of rhyme that was fun i really hope you guys enjoyed please let me know like what new books you've got in this year what you're currently reading if you've got any book recommendations yeah share your current read share your tbr thank you guys so much for hanging out i really really hope you enjoyed don't forget to like subscribe do all of that good stuff i will see you next monday with a new video but until then have a lovely day and a fabulous week Bye. It's rated X. That means you're extra, extra.